I'm going to present to you about the portfolio management. Okay, firstly, in the introduction, us will be given a dummy fund of 100,000 ringgit to invest in five different stocks in the different uh, industry in order to diversify the risk. And here, I choose to invest in the inner price presentation and then DNO, Green Technology, BIMB Bank, and YBS, and also Milat's Corporation. And uh, all these are distributed into 20% of weight portfolio, which is all of these equally 20%. And then for the portfolio return, all the price of for INODI the and OBA and DYBS and MILAS uh, for exactly one year in last year, which is 2021, uh, I got it by uh, following the historical data that uh, will be given in the investment.com website. And from this, we will manage to calculate the written data. And then from this written data, we also got the expected return, standard deviation, variance, and also sharp. So for the correlation and also covariance, uh, I calculate uh, this by using the analysis data by taking all the prices for the one year. Uh, and then we managed to got the, uh, this data. And then from this, we got the portfolio variance and also portfolio situation. And then for the portfolio optimization, it shows that the higher the beta, the higher the risk. And here, as we can see, the INO and also DNO uh, has the highest beta here, as the and it lead to the higher CAPM value, which is CAPM describe the risk and also the expected return for the stock as the cap. As the capital value for the DNO green technology and also enterprise presentation, it shows that both of them has the highest return and also highest risk. And uh, I also calculate for the beta for the portfolio, which is um, for the beta for each top for five company, we by we be multiplied by zero point two, which is twenty percent of the portfolio weight, and then we got the data here, and then. Uh, uh, this data covariance and also correlation are the data that uh, we take uh, from the uh, sheet before. And for the Markowitz, we use this data in order to calculate the efficient frontier. So, to calculate the efficient frontier, I repeated it use by using the solver by putting all the portfolio return by minimize the variance that we have. Okay, firstly, in order to get this, uh, we will put our target firstly. I put 2.17% of expected return in order to calculate it, uh, and then I use the solver. And here we show that the standard deviation is 36.05%, and the highest uh, standard deviation is the 96.87%. We show that uh, here it also has the highest expected return, which is 9.89%. And the, the lowest expected return is the, the lowest standard deviation is the 8.48%, which has the expected return of 8.06%. So if you are a person or an investor that uh, has a low risk taker, so you should invest in this expected return as it can bring you the lowest risk. If you are the highest risk taker, so you should go for 9.89% of expected return uh, and then for the sharp ratio uh, I calculate it by calculate the expected portfolio return minus the risk free and then divide it uh, into the portfolio standard deviation and I got 49.54 which it, it is tell that this is an excellent value as it tell that the better the funds return has been relative to the risk it has taken. And for the Jensen Alpha ratio, which is I got a 6.52, it shows that this is a positive ratio that tells that the portfolio is earning excess the return. And the last one is the trainer ratio, which I calculate by expected portfolio return uh, minus the risk free and then divided the portfolio beta, which is I also get a positive value. By it tell that the trainer ratio to is used to measure the risk or adjusted rate of return. We show that a higher ratio result is more desirable and it's mean that a portfolio is suitable for that investment. And then all this data I got from here. 
And the last one is the stock investment performance, which is uh, the total cost that we given first, uh, it tell that we got the dummy fund, which is 100,000. And then from here, I invest into these five different uh, industry. And I managed to get the total profit of 9,590 ringgit, which is tell, uh, the expected return is 9.6%. We show that in the Markowitz, 9.6 percent uh, it has the it has the uh, what extended duration of 62.27 percent we show that the risk are quite higher but however uh, even though the risk are higher the expected return also higher and all these five data are the historical data for one year for each of the stock and that's all for me thank you